You might ask, well, Maya, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm vibing. Maybe this is what I'll do. No, I'm lying. I was gonna say maybe this is what I'm gonna do on Thursday when I go out for my little dinner date with my friend, but this isn't, this is not what I'm gonna do. I lied. I lied, I'm not gonna do that. Hey guys, it's Maya. So today's video, I filmed this look. It's a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm talking, I'm not really talking about the products. I actually don't mention any of the products at all, except the primer. I don't even know if I say the name of the primer. I don't recall. I'm tired right now. So that's why I'm not, I'm, I'm just in an OVO t-shirt. That's it. That's all you're getting out of me right now. You're getting an OVO t-shirt and an unplanned beat face. I don't, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're talking about Shane Dawson. We're talking about uh, Jada and August Alsina. We're talking about girls who say, who know that they're pretty, but they say that they're ugly. We're talking about TVD. We're talking about a couple of things here. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway, and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Enjoy. I don't think I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk much, as much about my makeup in this one. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a colorful, colorful eyeshadow look. I haven't decided yet, but you know we'll get to it okay so how's everyone doing i hope everyone's doing really well yeah i hope everything everyone's doing well you know things are starting to open back up again i hope people who are like um what's the word oh god not me not knowing these words what's the word Oof. girl next i don't remember anyway yeah i just hope everyone's doing good i hope everyone is having a wonderful beginning of july i sure am i'm getting super close to 400 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed already just do it okay like i know you want to if you haven't already watched my last video the 19 things i learned at 19 highly recommend much more chill vibes in that video i had a lot of fun filming it so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it but i want to kind of incorporate more talking videos on my channel like stuff like that like i have a i have some ideas but if you guys have any more ideas then just let me know okay because i'm Girls are really ready to do whatever. I think I might have an updated curly hair routine coming. I'm not sure yet. I will let you know though. I'll let you know when I get there. It's just so crazy how half of my summer is done. Like I was just finishing school the other day and now it feels like half of my summer is gone and i just don't want to have feel about that because i don't want to go back to school like i'm not excited like we'll get through it you know i'm a little nervous especially with like the whole online thing and like mine mine is gonna be a hybrid i'm pretty sure i don't know how that's gonna work honestly but they said that they'll let us know more in august so I'm waiting for August so that I can see how my courses are gonna look because I really don't wanna be driving up and down every single day. So yeah, I don't know. What I really wanted to talk about was the whole August Alsina and Jada Pickett's, Pinkett, Pickett? The whole August Alsina and Jada thing. Well, first of all, it's quite honestly none of my business how people decide to go about their marriage and about their relationships what do i look like stating my opinion on this whole thing i look like nobody but basically if you don't already know which i'm sure you do uh august alcina came out with a new album and basically he did an interview with Angela Yee 
and I think the interview was really good like on in itself I think Angela did a very good job in asking the right questions and everything like that um and basically in the interview which if you haven't already watched the interview um this is a super small portion of the whole interview like the interview is an hour long and they only talked about it for I want to say no more than six minutes they only talked about Jada and Will and all that and so basically Angela asked him like what happened with that whole like with that whole Jada situation because he did a song called Nania I think is what it's called I don't know how because I watched the video again I have no idea how the internet figured it out that he was talking about Jada I assume that it was because of the gif he used in the video but I have no idea how y'all knew that it was Jada he was talking about maybe y'all have been following him longer than I have but yeah so she asked about that and then she asked about if they like really and truly had a relationship first of all he said you know it's not anyone's business to be coming and asking me like those sort of questions about like my relationships and whatever whatever and then he goes but when it starts affecting my money and like my and like my friends and blah 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 then you know i have to speak up on it because you know it really hurts and whatever and so he basically said that yes him and jada had like a relationship but he had will's blessing you know i'm gonna I'm finish my eyebrows and then i'm gonna come back yeah so he basically said that he had will's blessing because that's when they started like transforming from their marriage into their life partnership right and he said that he loved jada so much and that it like I guess like practically like consumed him and blah 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 and then he had to let it go and not really hurt whatever whatever and you know i feel like the internet peoples they already knew that will and jada not will and jada august and jada had a thing honestly i was surprised when he said that because when he went on the red table talk she was talking as if that was like her son you know not her not her partner not her lover you know i kind of got like she said family so i got a family vibe you know not like a romantic partner type vibe but who knows maybe it wasn't romantic but i don't know. i don't know how the whole life partnership thing works you know every there's something for everybody i feel like monogamy isn't the only way like for me personally i feel like monogamy is for me because i'm a gel I'm, I, I can get jealous sometimes i'm not gonna lie but i feel as if people are so quick to judge will and jada and their life partnership i think it's honestly inspiring like i i feel like i would love to be in something like that but like i said i my maturity level isn't up there it's not it's not will and jada type love you know but hopefully one day it will be but um honestly my only issue was with that was the fact that august actually told like the people them i feel like it really wasn't anybody's business except him and jada's and will's and i guess like whoever else already knew because he didn't have to confirm nothing. He didn't have to deny nothing either. He could have said no comment. Um, and I just say that because I feel like with Will and Jada, since they've never, they've never come out and said anything about who else they've been with other than, other than each other. So I was like, why did August go and why did he go and have to say something you know when it's almost kind of clear well i guess you know i'm just i'm just speaking from my standpoint from what i can see that is almost kind of clear that like 
Will and Jada don't really want the world to know who they're messing with because I feel like if they wanted the world to know then we would have known because we know about their whole life partnership and thing but we don't know who else has been invited into this partnership you know I can only assume that August said that because his album was coming out and he knew that it would get traction you know because I didn't really hear about August's new album like I feel like I might have known that he was coming out with a new album but I don't think anybody really knew that he was coming out with a new album until this whole thing happened you know and you know I just don't know how you feel about that I just don't and I don't understand how it could be affecting his money or anything like that because my nose contour looks so harsh on camera right now oh my goodness we gonna fix that yeah I don't understand how that could be affecting his money because literally no one was talking about it before he mentioned it on his song none of you like no one no one said nothing <gasps> no i was like why is my thing look so dark it's because the foundation is coming off but yeah that's how i feel about the whole situation you know it's just i feel like august just did it to get clout and do i blame him no would i do the same probably not but that's just me you know i'm not august anyway on to the next topic that i want to talk about i wanted to talk about how shane dawson and jeffree star are canceled um jeffree star has been canceled if you haven't already known I don't know I used to be subscribed to him and then I found out about his past and stuff but then I gave him I kind of gave him like the benefit of the doubt but then I realized that he just kept like coming for people and so then I obviously stopped supporting him like I was just subscribed to his YouTube I wasn't like following him on Instagram or anything like that but I unsubscribed like a while ago like a while ago um but yeah I just I was never into Shane Dawson and like I already said like I was kind of a fan of Jeffree Star but then I learned about his past and I was like oh, okay never mind he said some crazy things and he came for Miss Auntie Jackie and that just that just did not does not sit right with my spirit I also saw that Shane Dawson did some like really weird thing to willow when she was younger like he was doing some weird shit i don't know i don't even know what what he was doing it was gross though um and then jada and Jaden like said something on twitter about it how they're like disgusted and how they're like why would you ever do this like you weirdo and i'm just here to say that i don't follow that beauty influencer or those types of influencers because I like to keep my subscription box mostly people of color I'm only subscribed to a select amount of non people of color just because I feel like I can relate it's most most actually almost all the people are black so i'm gonna just say black like i'm subscribed to mostly black people because i feel like i can relate to black people and you know so why wouldn't i it only makes sense for me to be subscribed to black people in my eyes i don't know but no it's just not it's just not for me and i'm here to say that if you think that the beauty community is toxic then i'm here to tell you that you're not following the right people because eh, the way my timeline is set up is just it's people talking about the toxic people 
it's not the people themselves being toxic you feel you dig so that's all that's all that's all i'm gonna say on that because i have nothing else to say because i don't i don't watch shane dawson and i never did like ever because that's just not my that's just not my crowd i wanted to talk about how because i saw this on twitter if i can find the post again i'll put it up somewhere um but basically i want to talk about how people think that not people think people like post on the internet that like oh i look so bad in this picture or like ew i look awful in this picture and it's just like um, hopefully like i feel like she might have been being sarcastic because i feel like sometimes you can't you can't really tell over the internet whether someone's being sarcastic or not. My only hope is that she was being sarcastic and she probably was because there's a whole bunch of like people who troll on Twitter. But I know there's a lot of people who like do this because like for compliments and stuff because they're like looking for compliments, which is fine, you know, it's nice to get a compliment, but you don't have to say that you're ugly. You don't, you're, it's not even like about saying that you're ugly for compliments. It's like, it, I feel like it's something deeper. It's like, why are you looking so hard for compliments, you know? Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be feeling the need to get validation from other people. So that's just like one thing in itself. But it's another thing when you're doing it, you know, just for fun. And maybe that girl was. I'm going to cut my crease. Anyway, so as I was saying, is that I feel like when you say that you're ugly, especially on the internet, you know, you know, sometimes you really do be feeling ugly, and that's okay. It really does. It really do be like this. But um, you know, I feel like it's one thing to say, "Oh, I was feeling bad today," but like now oh, I feel so much better about myself. Or like, oh, and to think I felt bad about how I was looking today. You know, it's okay. I feel like it's okay to be a little cocky sometimes. I know the internet really be coming for people who are cocky. Not necessarily cocky, but you know, like loving themselves and like people think that it's just them being cocky because it's just them projecting themselves, like their self-hatred on someone else, you know? But it's another thing to go to your like 20,000 followers and be like, oh, I look awful today. And then post like the best, like, like a top notch selfie, you know? And like I said, it, it, it do really do be happening. Like sometimes you really and truly do feel ugly. And sometimes you need like a little boost of confidence, but like, girl, girl okay anyway you might ask what well, maya what are you doing <laughs> i don't know you vibing also i just started re-watching the vampire diaries if you haven't already watched that show honestly you're missing out like it's a lot of drums and guitar music a little bit too much for my taste just a little bit though. Just a little bit too much for my taste. Um, but can you blame them? It was in 2009 when they started filming this. And I'm pretty, I, I don't know if it got better. I completely forgot. It's been, I haven't watched it since 2017. It's been almost three years since I've watched it. So I don't know if the music gets better. I can only assume that it does because like, why wouldn't it? <laughs> I haven't put on actual eyeshadow in forever. Yeah, but the Vampire Diaries is so good. Like, oh my goodness. I completely forgot how good that show was. And I'm on season, season one, episode, I wanna say like 15 or 16 now. Cause I started it yesterday and it's honestly all I've been watching since yesterday 
but yeah like I remember when there was a time where I used to hate Damon and then I just love Damon because like Stefan was just being annoying back then you know like he was just being weird and like he wasn't letting Elena be who she really and truly needed to be but I don't, I don't think that came out like where I started liking Damon until whenever Elena like started to turn and stuff yeah when Elena turned I don't think I don't think it was until then when I actually started to like Damon like when I was younger but now watching it I realized that this whole thing is Stefan's fault and if you think otherwise block me okay because Stefan is the one who go and talk up about oh dad Catherine is this this and this no not Catherine oh are you sure vampire vampires are bad come on like think about it what if they're not all bad blah 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 blah, blah. when Damon specifically told him you know, Damon specifically told him not to say nothing to their father. Damon said, shh, shh. Stefan said, okay, I won't say anything. I can't believe this highlighter is broken. I'm pissed. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. This is a lot more highlight than I'm used to. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. Like a lot more. Oh my god. I was not mentally prepared for that at all. Yes, Damon said, Stefan, please do not say a word to father. And Stefan said, don't worry, Damon, but won't say a thing. So I'm just looking at my face because I'm looking well highlighted and I really don't know how I feel about that. I actually know exactly how I feel about it. I don't, I don't like it at all, actually. Oh my god like we really we really used to hate Damon huh yeah so I'm gonna be honest like I would change but I'm tired and I don't feel like changing so <laughs> so I'm not going to like I already told you it's late now it's 10 44 and I started filming at 9 30 I want to say like this is what happens when you do a full beat bro so this is the finished look you know I'm um, we're chilling this was a chilling video just with a white background but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already come on now you know you want to just go for it I'm going to my bed now okay I'm leaving now bye <laughs>